today is about to be be a fun day because I am uh, I'm going to shoot with um, a model who I'm very excited to shoot with. This is one of those exciting things about doing what I what I do, where um, it was so random and it was all social media that made this happen. I don't know, a year ago, two years ago, it's been a long time. But I posted on my Instagram story asking people who they would like to see me shoot with, and some somebody tagged the girl I'm going to shoot. It's going to be a surprise. I'll let her introduce herself in a, in a little bit. But someone tagged her, and I had I saw her page, and I was like. She's a really great model, I'd love to shoot with her. So I gave her a follow, I looked at her page and I saw a lot of stuff was in LA, hoping she was gonna be out here, but that wasn't the case. She was out here shooting for Playboy and uh, she actually lives on the East Coast and I'm on the West Coast, so it, that, uh, that, that would made things a little difficult. So with that being said, it was awesome because a couple weeks ago she hit me up telling me that she was gonna be in LA and that she wanted to shoot. Um, She's a traveling model who does amazing work and uh, the fact that she wants to take time out to shoot with me while she's traveling is, uh, is an honor and I'm super excited to shoot with her. Uh, she has a very unique style, she has a beautiful look and um, it, I think we're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm about to go pick her up. over here hey. we are headed off to Palos Verdes to do a beach shoot and we're gonna meet up with Craze Photography but this is uh, this is the person who I was talking about earlier that I'm super stoked to shoot with she's where do you live uh, I'm from I'm based in upstate New York right now this is my first trip to California uh, uh, how are you liking California so far I'm loving it the weather here is great everybody's nice <laughs> so how long how long have you been modeling for I've been modeling for a total of three years now Professionally for the last year, solid. You know, when you say professionally, do you mean that as in like full, now that you're full time, you consider that professionally? Yeah, or like, full time. Taking I, it all serious. Yeah. And traveling everywhere, having a good time. Alright, alright. Yeah. That's yeah. good, that's a good way. That's how I feel too. It's like once I went full time, <clears throat> that's when I was like, okay, I'm doing this professionally. Right. You know, I'm making a living off of it. And I don't have to go do another job. Yes. That's the, that's the goal, right? That's the goal. That's the goal. And, uh, yeah, so I was, I was saying how we talked, like, what was it, a year and a half, two years ago? Yeah, forever ago. About seven it, I feel like it was at least something like that. And it was I like never, a year and a half. Yeah, I never thought I'd make it out to California, actually. And I was just, you know, I just kind of blew them off. Like, yeah, I'll let you know if I ever actually come out there. <laughs> I know, and that's exactly how I was. I was like, oh, you're way out there. Like, maybe we'll make it happen one day. <laughs> and then it's funny, because then a couple weeks ago, you hit me up and you're like, hey, I'm going to be out there. <laughs> Let's shoot. And then I was gone during the first half you were out here. And then we switched places and then now here we are ready to ready to make it happen yeah what steps did you take to go from uh, to become a full-time model when did it all you know kind of come together somebody told me that i should become a model a lot of a lot of people they told me yeah you should get paid to model you're like really pretty and you should try it well i thought sure you know whatever um i was in college at the time when i had my first shoot and uh, i had my first nude shoot exactly three years ago from now, so like uh, October of 2016, I had my first nude shoot. It just came very natural to me. I really liked it. I liked making uh, good money. Um, I liked making the art of it, and uh, it just became my passion um, after that. So I just uh, I just kind of like got sucked into it somehow, you know? It yeah, wasn't, I... ever, wasn't ever like I, I thought I could actually be a model. It yeah. never occurred to me to do that, but it just kind of it just kind of came to me. Running your own business, um, it's, it takes dedication, it takes time, um, you know, you have to always persevere through all the <laughs> all the inquiries that I get. Like I get hundreds of inquiries every day and I have to figure out which ones are worth responding to, which ones aren't, and then, you know, I put off some of them until later notice on purpose because I know I want to work with them, but I don't quite know what to say at the time, you know, it's, it's a huge juggling thing. You know, like that's a that's a hectic amount to, oh, yeah. to balance. And you know, like right like right now, I probably have a ton of um, inquiries to look through, but I don't want to be on my phone right now because yeah. we're vlogging. So <laughs> you know, why the heck would I do that if I get to you know 
for um, making content. In the moment. So what advice would you give to a model who is just getting started and thinks that she wants to take it to a point of being a full-time model? So if a model wants to get serious about it and make it her full-time career, I would just say um, you would do all of the normal good business things that you would do if you imagine running your own business. So if you don't know what those are, you know, you would um, be punctual, you respond to everybody that messages you that has a serious inquiry and let them know you can either do or not do their uh, their request or, um, you know, check into it more. Um, always check your references. You always have to um, make sure that you're safe, especially being your own contractor and not having an agency back you up. Yeah. I've never had a bad experience with the shoot. Everybody's been great to shoot for ever so far. Um, and I find that I just am very smart about booking. And I, I honestly have to say for every maybe 10 or 20 inquiries I get, maybe one of them is serious. And then that one might, you know, like one in every 50 is probably an actual inquiry that I can pull off somehow, you know, be able to make it out to the location, make, make it happen, you know. And sometimes it takes a while, like, um, getting a shoot set up with you it took a yeah. while but now that we're here and we're able to pull it off we're gonna kill it <laughs> and, now, and now that you say that too uh, the whole idea of like you know knowing when to uh, <clears throat> or sifting through ones like you're gonna get a ton of inquiries but then it's like which ones are actually legit For sure. you, you also learn and need to pay attention to the little signs that tell you whether someone's serious or not so you know I shouldn't engage this one anymore yeah. and that it's just going to be a total waste of time and this person's not serious. Yeah, some of my biggest advice for figuring out if somebody's legitimate or not is to, um, if any anything comes up, even if it's like a yellow flag, you know, if you get any red or yellow flags, just don't do it until yeah. you can figure, you have to be very certain that it's a safe opportunity um, before you go meet up with random strangers, you know what I mean? You have to, I, I, I live a life of hopping in strangers' cars and staying in strange homes and being in strange places, but I feel comfortable with it because I've done my homework and I make sure that everybody that I'm, uh, that everybody that I'm working with is well checked over and that they, they don't have a criminal record or something crazy. So. Yeah, no, that's smart. And, I, and that is something that I stress for sure yeah. models need to do. And staying safe is priority number one. Absolutely. Creating content and getting paid is number two. Yeah. Having fun is number three, right? Oh, yeah. It's a good order. That's a good order. Yeah. All right, well, we just got to the location. We're about to go meet up with Craze Photography and uh, do some shooting. This is pro tip, and Shane will completely agree with me. This is pro tip, uh, I don't know what number, say one or two. You always, you always take the model stuff, right? Yeah, carry that shit for him. He did have it, and then I took it for the video <laughs> to take credit for it. Now I'm carrying his towel. Now he's carrying my towel like a real gentleman. <laughs> that's, what, that's what you gotta do, especially when you take them to uh, locations where they gotta go for a hike. Yeah. How, how do you like the, the view from here? The view's great. Pretty, pretty, pretty stoked. This is sick though. Yeah, what is this guy I wish doing? You could catch that on video. Yeah. I know. I wish I didn't have my wide-angle lens on right now. But here's the view. What are we working with right now? We're working with this bathing suit that I got altered, and no one has used it yet. So no I'm one's using used it. it? Yep. Where were I you? I like it because it's, going it's down. castly and fun. I like and it. it's like the perfect wind for it. So I'm gonna use it right now. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, it's time. The first look has been picked. Chosen, it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> videos are going down. Ooh. <laughs> We're about to shoot look number two. Smoky eyes in a
pro tip number whatever we're on. Wear the model's hat. Show her how it's done. <laughs> how do I look? Perfect. Look good? Yeah, beautiful. Should I model it? Oh yeah. You want to be my photographer? Oh yeah. It looks like shit on you. Nice. Who's Mr. Negative, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, is this our final look that we're doing? Yeah, I think Maybe so. Maybe it might be our final look. I guess we'll find out. We're trekking. Sure. Oh, I, like, yeah. I like that idea, let's do it. He always has good ideas. Full on over here. I've got jeans with me too. You got yeah, jeans. Little jeans, jeans. Check out that her robe. And, yeah. Check out her robe. That's warm. Woo! Okay. You got your shorts? Uh, how, how, how clutch is the robe? How classy or? No, how clutch. Clutch, it's nice. It's <laughs> best it's thing nice. ever. Fly to the best We, we finished it up, beautiful sunset out here, these clouds are amazing and um, the bright side of having two photographers for this one is the fact that they were able to keep shooting and then I got to go shoot some landscape stuff so check this out. That's what, that's what the sunset was like tonight, it was, it, was, it, was, it was a good one, real good. I'll send them all to you. Hi you guys. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> High five, we killed it. Yeah. High five. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah, all the way. So, so what what'd you think about uh, shooting with with Craze and Kev? Yeah, man. Oh, man. I had a freaking amazing time. <laughs> we, we had a super good time. This out was here. amazing. Always. This was like one of the best shoots I've ever had. Thank best you. Best shoots here? You're not just saying that for you, too? Yeah, no, just... what the fuck? I, I want to give them an accurate representation. That was not a sponsored <laughs> ad. She it meant it. It was not sponsored. It was just, that was just out of my face. Just out the of truth. Face. Yeah. Came right out. Right out but there. it was a beautiful one. Thank you again for no making problem. this happen. Thanks for it's having me. exciting. Out. Yeah, this is Shane. Great. This is special. Always a great time. Always. This is, this is my boy right here. Right here. The man. Brother. The from man. Another mother and father in different locations different and everything. And but, yeah. Cousins. All right. Kevin say and bye. Me. Say bye. Bye, bye Felicia. <laughs> say bye. bye.